Let's start with the Canelo fight. Going into the Canelo fight, we knew Sergio Kovalov was aging. He is the weakest or was the weakest light heavyweight champion in that division. Still, for me, it was still impressive for Canelo to move up two weight classes to beat him. We all understand Sergio Kovalov wasn't the crusher anymore. It would have been a different fight. And it was very close until the 11th round when Canelo stopped him. Now, what they're saying is Kovalov took a dive. But first, they were saying he was too old. Make up your mind. They're saying Kovalov didn't throw the right hand. Well, Canelo's a first world-class counterpuncher. He was scared what was coming back to him. And remember, this guy's been knocked out twice already. And that Anthony Yard fight, where he locked Anthony Yard out, is with a jab. If someone can jog my memory, how many right hands did he land against Anthony Yard? Or how many right hands did he throw against Anthony Yard? Now, what could be true is that he took the fight in short notice for him. But who fault is that? They were fine with the short notice before he got knocked out. Now it's a problem. Now it's fixed. He took a dive. As for me, the fight went like I thought it would. I picked Canelo late stoppage or decision. So it went like I thought it would. So I'm going to chalk this up as delusional fanboys. Now you have Sergio Kovalov asking for a rematch because he wants another $12 million payday. I'm very surprised. Next up, we got Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz. And I got to be honest about this fight. I didn't know which way it was going to go. You know, Andy Ruiz came in with these false pictures that he lost all his weight. Anthony Josh was slimming down. So I didn't have any idea how this fight was going to go. I gave it a 50-50 fight. But once they got on the scale and Andy Ruiz weighed in 283, I thought it was too heavy. I like to see Andy Ruiz about 250, 255. I knew the trainer camp went bad. After the fight, trainer Manny Robles and Andy Ruiz Sr. confirmed what I thought. Manny Robles said he wanted Andy Ruiz to come in lighter. He says it didn't happen. It wasn't up to him. It was up to the fighter. Means Andy Ruiz didn't listen to his trainer. And Andy Ruiz Sr. was saying, what well, was the road work? There was no road work done. And I talked to my friends, some of them are Ruiz fans. They're like, yeah, well, 283 is not bad. He's going to punch with more power. Where is all this power coming from? He's a decent puncher. But he's not like a, a big puncher like Deontay Wilder or nothing. When he knocked out Anthony Joshua or knocked him down or stopped him, it was from a temple shot. And with temple shot throws anybody's equilibrium off. Anthony Joshua is not Chenny. Regardless of what other people tell you, he's not Chenny. Vladimir Klitschko hit him with a solid right hand and hurt him and he got back up. Is Andrew Reeves a harder puncher than Vladimir Klitschko? I highly doubt it. Now they say that the fight was fixed because Andrew Reeves held back. No, judging by his weight, he didn't hold back on nothing at the table. Andy Reeves, best asset is his quick hands. He has bad footwork. He does not cut off the ring. Punching power is decent, but now we got an issue with his weight. We can't trust him to be in shape in the next fight. And I think Andrew Reeves is a good fighter. What pisses LDBC to PBC off is that he wanted Andy Ruiz to win because they thought he'd be the easier touch. And now we know why, because Andy has a problem with weight. And now the worst thing has come true for the PBC and Deontay Wilder. And we know Deontay Wilder is scared of Anthony Joshua. And that's another reason why he's talking so much. Joshua's coming for him. He wants to fight. And Deontay Wilder is running. Last point I want to make, and we have a different opinions. I think Anthony Joshua gave Andy Ruiz a boxing lesson that Saturday. Some people call it running, but if Andy Ruiz would have trained properly, maybe he could have ran and caught up with him. And my last point, Deontay Wilder is the real fraud in boxing. And P.S. No one's paying Andy Ruiz 30 million extra dollars to throw a fight. Andy Ruiz may have a difficult style to prepare for, but he's not a dominant fighter that you pay 30 million dollars to throw a fight. Good fighter, but beatable. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.